Fish kind of on. Oh. A little acrobat on that one. Yeah. The nice thing about these fish, they are just wild. A jumper. Brown trout that jumps. That's a good man. I'll let you handle that one. All right, buddy. Very nice. Here's our setup now for the Euro nymphing that's been so successful for us today. Um, I've got 12 pound chameleon line that I've uh, attached to my fly line. I probably put about 30 feet of this on, which means I am able to bury the fly line into the reel so the, the fly line is not used at all. It's taken right out of the picture. Uh, attached to that, I have attached probably about maybe four feet of what they call cider line. Here it is, and, or, what, or as they call it, we call it sometimes bubble gum, popsicle line, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can buy it just like a spool. And this is 4X tippet, is what it is. So we attach that to the 12 pound chameleon. And attached to that then is 4X tippet here. And I've probably got maybe two and a half feet again here. Um, I've attached that 4X to the 4X cider. Um, I've gone down to the, the top fly here and I've attached a second fly because the regulations say we're able to do that here. Um, if it was on an area where you had one fly, barbless only, obviously I would just have this, this fly behind it. You do not need sometimes a split shot. Depends on the flow. Today our flow was pretty high, so I have attached a split shot. Again, probably maybe eight inches at, uh, ahead of the uh, top portion, the top fly. A lot of times, because these are tungsten heads, you don't need this, but I really wanted to depth charge it down very quickly. Oh, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? That was huge. That was huge. Okay. He followed it up. He did. Let there we go. go. Let him go. Oh, nice. Rainbow. Is that a rainbow? Oh, let go. Oh, darn. Let go. That's That was the fish. That was the fish. That was the fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that fish, we rolled it earlier. What well, wasn't even five minutes before we rolled it. We both saw it when, when, wow, there's the fish. And I felt it was right at the very end of my, uh, end of my drift. And I couldn't drift it any farther down and control it. So what I did is I took a step down and did the same thing, and that's when he hit. And what I like what you've been doing in the last, uh, probably last half hour, even, even better than before, is that you've been dropping your rod tip as the, it goes farther and farther away from you. So you're keeping that fly right down at the level of the fish for much longer of your drift. And you did right. that right, and that right. just hit you got, you, this, this cider system here is dredging the bottom. It's not anything like indicator fishing at all. No. It's more feel. And I'll tell you, when the fish hit, you know it. Wham! I know. That was, that was really something. Awesome. There's another one in here. Yeah, I think so. Let's give it a go. I got your back. Yeah, I, 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 I don't feel the, the, the footing here seems to be better. Isn't it? Yeah. Like it must be just deeper in the sun not penetrating it. Yeah. Fish. Now, this is probably the prime time of day that's, that the fish are biting. We're not finding they're, they're an early bite. We're finding once the bugs start coming off, the fish start biting. This isn't a very big fish. I, I got to look at it when it came up, but I'm... Uh, it's a jumper though. Since, since I, I lost the last one, <laughs> We'll get this one. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it easy on this one. Get some redemption and get this yeah. one in the net. You got this it. This small brown. Awesome. <laughs> Nicely done. Bring it back here and these are wild fish, aren't they? They are. So wild that's, that's wild a, as they come. That's a good sign when you get the yearlings like that. Isn't it though? 
We're going to talk a little bit about flies uh, here that we are using in this last couple of days and pretty well this is this is a fly box that I have uh, I use exclusively I've got a couple of them um, and you can see I got all different array of colors these are all tungsten head flies I have my top four right here that seem to be maybe I fish some more with confidence but they do seem to hit most of the fish and my number one fly it's not very impressive but it's this fellow right here, and that's just a green midge with a uh, sparkle black collar. That is the potato chips of the, the fish here because they basically, they'll be eating minnows, they'll be eating um, uh, what is hatching during the, during the day at times, but they will always, always be eating midges. And uh, they are smaller, but they, uh, they're very effective. My second favorite is the Frenchie here. It's a pheasant tail with a white collar. Um, a very, very effective um, uh, pattern that it's, um, gets their attention with the collar. You could put different uh, collars, red, green, but the white seems to be the best. Over here, just a nice yellow collar. Again, I, I do like yellow, Paragon style. Um, this is more of a, of a type of a tungsten fly that actually depth charges and gets down right away. So if you've got some water that you need to, to really get down far, this one leads the way. And the red midge, red and copper midges, but the red is great because if you have different colors of water, if the, if the water is stained, this is what you're looking for right here. And so those are my top four. I'll use all these because you'll have to have options because until fish can, can talk, we have no idea what they want. So you have to have lots of options in your box, but these are the top four that uh, we will work on you. And you notice that I have uh, a gunmetal head on these. We're fishing these, uh, these cold water streams. This is not a tailwater, so it's very, very clear. And so with this gunmetal, I find it doesn't spook them at all. Sometimes when you have this gold head, they, it may, there may be a spark, sparkle from the sunshine that may maybe just move them away from it. So nice and subtle with the gunmetal heads, and that's the way to go with these tungsten flies that will sink. We're going to talk about the streamers now and many of the time uh, when we use these it's uh, in the very early morning uh, you know up to maybe around 11 o'clock and uh, in the evening and there's always a lot of array of colors that you should be using what i like to start out with first is a nice fat looking white streamer white in the morning just seems to to really be effective and I like these flies that um, they tie here because I put a lot of dubbing on the head which gives them a fat profile and that's what they're looking for something that because they're hungry and they're eating these minnows um, if that's not doing uh, what it's just supposed, supposed to be doing and a lot of these we were uh, using um, so they're a little wet but you go to the black this has some red fleck in it red is always fantastic within black and black does show up uh, pretty much in any type of water especially the darker uh, milky water black was probably the one that will show up the most uh, green you can't go wrong with green if you have a, a river that has a lot of frogs in it uh, which most of them do um, you can see it's got the uh, rabbit tail here and it's got a little bit of a uh, flash to it to uh, uh, create some um, activity but it's also got the red eyes and sometimes the red eyes is what they look at everything looks at the eyes when they're about ready to attack what we also have though what a lot of people do not fish with is yellow and this with a tiger tail orange tiger tail and the yellow and a little bit of ribbing right at the collar here of the orange uh, ribbing is really effective we hit a really big one yesterday at two well, maybe around 1 30 midday very sunny and he hit this because it's different so anything that might be different use it don't forget to use yellow There used to be a lot of big fish right down in the gorge at one time. Yeah. There's all that pocket water, but pocket it was water. really difficult to, Ooh. there we go. Oh, little there guy. There we go, little guy. <laughs> Are you gone? Oh, he oh. lost. Oh, he's gone, darn. <laughs> I can't win for some reason. I know. <laughs> Keep losing fish. <laughs> but that was a definite whack. Was it right yeah. at the end? Yeah, as right it was, at the end. As it, as it started to, to, to emerge, uh, to rise up and swing. Yeah. That's, that's an important, important point to, to make, is when you've done your drift, let it swing out because it's, uh, it's just like an emerging bug, coming from the bottom, rising up to emerge. They think that, and that one, that's where that one hit, was on the swing, he nabbed it. Exactly, and right at the end, if you could almost do a little bit of shaking, nervous bug-like, yeah. that's what's gonna yeah. get it. 